My granddaughter, Quincy's fifth grade teacher, assigned a project for each of the students to build some sort of a one minute timer. So me and Quincy come up with this idea to make her timer. Before we go any farther, Quincy often looks at me with a puzzled expression on her face. I sometimes get the impression that she thinks I'm a little strange. Here's the way Quincy built her one minute timer. First item she needed is an empty hot sauce bottle. Second is a braided nylon cord, about 12 inches long. Third's enough water to fill the hot sauce bottle. Fourth is three drops of liquid soap and fifth to be a little plastic tube. And when we got starting our project, uh, the only bottle we had was a full bottle of hot sauce. I sure don't like to waste anything, so me and Quincy just drank the hot sauce. This may be one reason why Quincy thinks her grandfather's a little strange. Well, here's how Quincy built her one minute timer. First she put three drops of liquid soap in the bottle and filled it with water. Then she cut the cord about 12 inches long and put it in the bottle of soapy water and left about one inch hanging out. To use its Quincy's timer, she pulls the cord out of the bottle just far enough to put about an inch of it in the plastic tube. When the water starts dripping off the end of the cord, she looks at her watch and lets the water drip for one minute. She then puts a pencil mark on the plastic tube where the water level was at the end of one minute. Now, Quincy's one minute timer is ready to use. When I want to time an egg for one minute, I just pull the cord out of the soapy water and put the end of it in the plastic tube. When the dripping water reaches the mark I put on the tube, I have a perfect one minute egg. Grandfather says this timer works because of capillary action. I'm not sure what that means, but he says a lot of things I do not understand. I told you it was kind of strange. <laughs>